Are you a Blood Strike fan who loves playing the game but finds it challenging to get the most out of it due to performance issues? If so, you are in luck because, in this video, we'll provide you with a comprehensive guide on how to optimize your gaming experience. In the end, I've discussed the most efficient optimization method so watch till the end so that you don't miss that one also make sure not to skip this video or you'll run into an error saying this according to experience. On the first spot, before we delve into optimizing the game, we need to optimize your PC. To do this, we'll start by deleting unnecessary files. Press the Windows Plus or key and type and temp this will bring up the files that we need to delete. Select all the files by pressing Ctrl plus A and then press the delete button. If some files are not deleting, skip them and return to the desktop. Next, press Windows plus R again, type percent temp percent and hit enter. The folder will open on your computer and you can press Ctrl plus A and delete all the files. Afterward, press Windows plus R and type in prefetch. If the folder is present, delete all the files. In my case the prefetch folder is not present because I'm using ggos, I'll talk about ggos later in this video. On the second spot, it's time to turn off windows animations. Go to this PC, right click, and select properties. Then click advanced system settings, and select settings. Uncheck all the boxes, and check only the three boxes. On the third spot, end unnecessary tasks by going to task manager and ending tasks that you think are not necessary. If you are unsure which task to end, it's best to skip this step. On the fourth spot, it's time to turn on storage sense by searching for it in the windows search bar then clicking storage settings and turning on storage sense. On the fifth spot, optimize graphic settings. Right click the blood strike game icon and then select the open file location. Then go to engine, then binaries, and then win 64. Copy the path and go to your desktop. Right click and go to display settings. Scroll down and click graphic settings. Click browse and paste the path you copied earlier. Select blood strikes exe file and check on high performance. On the sixth spot, it's time to enable virtualization by searching on YouTube for how to enable it on your PC. The procedure varies depending on the PC. That's why I'm not showing in this video. On the seventh spot, consider using Gear Up Booster, which many people have suggested and Blood Strike recommends. To download it, go to the Games Events section, click Update, scroll down, and click on the Gear Up Booster. This will bring you to their site. Click the Download option. After downloading, install it and sign up for free to use it. Then select your server and click Boost to improve your game ping. On the 8th spot, download Memoriduck by searching for it on Google and clicking on its official website to download it for Windows. Once you have installed Memoriduck, run it to see your current memory usage mine is 32%. Now you can click on Clean Memory to free up memory space as you can see memory usage decreased from 32% to 9%. On the ninth spot, you can disable HPET by right-clicking on the Windows icon and selecting Device Manager from the options. Scroll down to High Precision Event Timer under System Devices and disable it. On the tenth spot, you can disable Background Apps, search for Background Apps on Windows Search, and turn off Background Apps. This will free up system resources and enhance your gaming performance. On the eleventh spot, you have to optimize your graphic settings, open your blood strike game, and navigate to graphic settings. There, you can copy my settings to enhance your gaming experience. On the 12th spot, you have to apply compatibility settings, right click on the blood strike game file, click on the open file location, then go to engine, then binaries, and then win 64. Right click on the blood strike game file and then click properties from the options. Now you can copy these two settings and then hit apply and OK. On the 13th spot, you have to update your Windows drivers and GPU drivers. You can download driver booster from their website. Simply search driver booster on Google click on their website and download driver booster after downloading install it 
and scan your drivers before updating them. This will ensure that all your drivers are up to date and enhance your gaming experience. On the 14th spot, you have to decrease your resolution, right click on your desktop, and click on display settings. Here, you can lower your resolution to enhance your gaming performance. However, keep in mind that lower resolutions will compromise visual quality, but also at the same time provide you with a significant performance improvement. On the 15th spot, you have to enable the game mode, search for game mode on Windows search and turn it on. Also, turn off the Xbox game bar. This will optimize your system resources for gaming and enhance your gaming experience. On the 16th spot, you have to enable the high performance power plan, go to control panel system and security power options, and choose high performance. Now click change plan settings and put both things on never now click on change advanced power settings and under the processor power management ensure that the minimum and maximum processor state is set to 100%. This will ensure that your processor is operating at maximum performance and enhance your gaming experience. On the 17th spot, you have to disable startup apps, open the task manager, and click on startup. Here, you can disable all startup apps that you don't need running in the background. This will free up system resources and enhance your gaming performance. On the 18th spot, you have to update Windows, go to Settings Update and Security. Here, you can check for any available updates for your system and install them to enhance your gaming experience. On the 19th spot, you have to disable transparency effects, right-click on the desktop and select Personalize. Then, click on Colors and turn off transparency effects. This will enhance your gaming performance by freeing up system resources. On the 20th spot, you can download the optimization pack from the link in the description. Once downloaded, open the CPU folder run Unparked CPU and then select the power plan that is selected in your PC make sure that the core parking index is set to 100% then click unpark all and apply. On the 21st spot, we have to do some registry optimizations. To do it simply just open the Windows registry folder provided in my optimization pack and run all the registry files. After that go back and open the KBM folder and open registry folder. Now run all of these registry files too. On the 22nd spot, you need to open the CMD text file and copy the first command. This command will initiate a scan for system errors. To run this command, search for CMD on Windows Search, right-click it, and run it as an administrator. Then, paste the command you copied and hit Enter. Allow the scan to complete, and if there are any errors, you will need to paste the second command to fix them. However, if there aren't any errors, move on to the third command, copy the third command and paste it, and hit enter this will scan for errors and fix them. On the 23rd spot, you need to open the second text file and copy the command that is relevant to your system's type. For instance, if you have an SSD, copy the SSD commands, and if you have an HDD, copy the HDD commands. I'm copying HDD commands as I have HDD after that. Open CMD as an administrator and paste the first command then hit enter. Then, copy the second command, paste it, and hit enter. On the 24th spot, you need to open the third text file and disable some services. You have to disable only those services which are written in text file to do this. Press Windows plus or on your keyboard, type services.msc, and hit enter. You will see a list of services, find the ones written in the text file. Right click and go to properties and change the startup type to disable for all the services. In my case some of these services aren't available because GGOS doesn't have unnecessary services, I'll tell you more about GGOS in this video later. On the 25th spot, you need to adjust your keyboard settings. Simply search for keyboard on Windows search and click on it. Then, drag both sliders to the maximum position. This will give you the best possible keyboard performance. On the 26th spot, you need to adjust your mouse settings. Search for mouse settings on Windows Search, click on it, and go to additional mouse options. Then, go to pointer options and uncheck enhance pointer precision. 
Move the slider all the way back, press the right key on your keyboard 5 times, and then click apply and OK. This will improve your mouse performance significantly. On the 27th spot, we have some GPU optimizations. If you have an AMD graphics card, right click on your desktop and open AMD Radeon software. Click on settings and copy my settings. Then, go to graphics and copy my settings again. Next, go to gaming and add the Bloodstrike EXE file by clicking the three dots and selecting add a game. Copy the game EXE file path by clicking on the game icon then select open file location then go to engine, then binaries, and then when 64, copy this path and paste it, then hit enter and select the EXE file. Finally, click on Bloodstrike and copy my settings. If you have an Intel GPU, then open your Intel HD graphics control panel, and then click on display, now click on display settings, and select basic, now for resolution select your native resolution. For refresh rate if you have a low end PC, I would prefer choosing 60Hz, don't bother rotation, and scaling select maintain display scaling now go to color, increase saturation just a bit to get better color, don't increase this too much. Now click on apply and yes, now go to 3D for application. Optimal mode you should select enable, and for general settings click on performance, now click on apply and yes, now open up power, now for graphics power plan you should select maximum performance, now go to on battery, select maximum performance, click apply and yes. If you have a Nvidia GPU, right click on your desktop select Nvidia control panel, go to adjust image settings with preview, and check the option use the advanced 3D settings, and click on apply. After that select manage 3D settings. Now copy my settings. Now save these settings by clicking on apply, now click configure surround physics, and the option processors select your graphics card, now hit apply. In the 28th spot, we have chrome settings. Open your chrome browser and click on the three dots. Scroll all the way down and click on settings. Click on performance and turn on the memory saver. This will help improve your browsing experience. On the 29th spot, I want to provide an upgrade guide. If you have a laptop, one of the most significant upgrades you can make is to buy at least an SSD, which will improve your performance significantly. If you have a PC, you can buy at least a GPU to improve your gaming experience. If you want more information about upgrading under a budget, you can contact me privately using the Discord server link in the description. On the 30th spot, I have a great optimization tip that you've been waiting for it is GGOS. What is GGOS? It is a lightweight version of Windows 10 that is perfect for running all kinds of games and applications, including the popular game Bloodstrike. With GGOS, you can enjoy your favorite games and applications without any issues or problems. To download GGOS, you simply need to click on the link provided in the description and download the ISO file. If you are unfamiliar with the installation process for Windows, there are plenty of educational videos on YouTube that can guide you through the process. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and fixed the performance issue in Bloodstrike. 
If you found it helpful, please show your support by hitting the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell icon so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. If you encounter any issues or have any questions, please don't hesitate to mention them in the comments section. We will do our best to assist you and address any concerns you may have. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in my next video.